Hi, I'm Mike. I am head of technical delivery here at Sempra. Uh, the Sempra Group is a independent provider of metrology services and products to industries like aerospace, medical and automotive. At Sempra, we're trying to improve the productivity of our customers and British manufacturing in general. And we tend to look at the outcome of what the problem is rather than the system or the, the product or whatever it might be. So we employ a team of uh, professional engineers and salespeople to help you identify the problem and to solve it with our solutions. So uh, we're seeing a lot more demand from our customers that they need to integrate automated solutions into their shop floor practice. Uh, automation can be quite a tricky thing to bring in, so we're bringing that expertise for our customers. It's particularly around quality control, metrology and inspection. So a lot of our customers are starting to recognise the importance of fixturing within their quality process. So this is a very key aspect of traceable, reproducible and repeatable measurements on the shop floor. So to support that, Semper design, manufacture, build, test and program all of our fixtures in-house for all of our customers. And to support the growing need for this, to our support to our customer base we've invested in a milling machine to help us produce our components faster and also to give us the flexibility that we need within that process so uh, when we took the decision to explore uh, bringing in a milling machine we looked at a number of different providers and the thing that we were really keen on was um, was number one making an investment which is financially viable it wasn't too expensive uh, it gives us something that gives us the capability to do everything that we need to do in the right materials in the right accuracies but there was another aspect as well in the sense that Herco also supported that process by de-risking us so we gave us a, the offer to do a financial agreement to do it over a certain month a set of months so instead of us taking a massive leap into the world of milling we were allowed to sort of dip our toe a little bit beforehand and that really helped oil the wheels of that process to bring it in and since then really we've kind of taken it and we've flown with it so the whole process of bringing the machine in uh, from a commercial point of view was really really helpful um, and then from there, it was, it was actually more of a team effort from lots of different places. Herco provided some great support and training on how to use the machine. That was at their facility. That was really, really good. Uh, we then had a lot of support around us from uh, tooling suppliers, uh, tooling representatives, and also the great big YouTube world that allowed us to sort of explore this as well. We are not machinists. That wasn't our background. But through this process, we've been able to to, to really break the back of that and to have a fantastic experience of what we do. So we went to High Wycombe, uh, I think it was a three-day course, uh, me and one of my colleagues went down there. We did the full uh, conversational programming course which then followed up with how to actually use the machine, how to set tools, how to, um, to, to correctly use the machine in daily life. And I really can't fault it, it was, uh, it was a really easy seamless process, the trainer was great uh, and by the end of it we came out we were absolutely chomping at the bit to get to the machine to try and make some parts. Uh, and that's really when the real learning kind of started, is that we've, we had the training, that's great, and then we start to then utilise that training on the machine. And that's where the challenge started. But we came through that eventually, uh, and now it's, it's, it's great. The VM10i was the, uh, the ideal machine for us. It had the right capacity in terms of size, it had the right capability in terms of the speeds and feeds that it was able to do with the materials that we wanted to do. Um, and it was at the right price point for us. So it kind of nestled in that trifecta. We are mainly doing aluminium, stainless steel, engineering plastics. So nothing necessarily exotic, but we still need to make sure they are accurate, they look good, they are, um, uh, and we can do it repeatably and do it reliably. So that machine really kind of fit into that, into that pot really, really nicely. And through the conversations with Herco during that process with the accessories, we know that we can also upgrade it should we need to in the future. So having the Herco at Sempra will really allow us going forward to support our customers better with turnkey solutions like fixturing, developing products like smart fixtures, R&D development of other products that we might do to support all of our customers' needs going forward.